Hello, today we're going to link a couple of products together via a simple NMEA 2000 backbone. We've got a Vulcan 7 chart plotter and a B&G V50 radio with built-in AIS. And the purpose you probably want to connect these two together is to get the AIS data to display on the chart plotter. What you're going to need are three NMEA 2000 T pieces, two NMEA 2000 drop cables, a male and female NMEA 2000 termination resistor, and an NMEA, NMEA 2000 power cable. And you start by connecting up the T pieces. This is a very simple version of a network. You could put drop cables or uh, backbone cables between the T pieces if you want to want to extend the backbone, but this is, as I say, a very simple setup. So you've got three T pieces. The holes mean that you can, they're therefore screwing that up to a bulkhead to keep it nice and uh, nice and straight. Now the termination resistors, the purpose of the termination resistors are to suppress any signal reflections that go up and down the network and it uh, makes a big difference on much larger networks but it's good practice to get them in there. Now the drop cables. I'm putting these at either end because I want the middle node to be used for the power. It's always best to have the power node in the middle of your network and it really matters when you've got longer networks so there's no voltage drops going to the extremities if you've got it somewhere handy in the middle then it uh, reduces the voltage drops to any larger sections so we've got our three T pieces two termination resistors two drop cables and our power cable and now we can connect the drop cables to the VHF radio, that's an NMEA 2000 port. And the same on the back of the plotter. So, that is now ready to go. Apply power to the two devices and also apply power, 12 volts DC only, to the NMEA 2000 backbone. And these two devices will then be able to communicate. What you would do is to check this, just double check on the device list in the menu on the Vulcan 7 to see if you can see the V50 radio and it should appear without having to change any settings on the V50. And that is a very basic NMEA 2000 network. Now, the same applies if you're adding another brand's product to the network. It doesn't have to be all by the same brand. For example, we could be putting uh, a Vespa XB8000 AIS unit uh, connecting up to the Vulcan that would connect up exactly the same way. The same rules apply, whether it's Garmin, B&G, uh, Simrad, Lowrance, uh, same rules ap apply.